In today's video, I will show you my camera equipment, my camera bag of 2023. I split this video into two parts. Number one is my main camera equipment. This is considered my filmmaking equipment. But number two, this will be my iPad only use as a travel nomad equipment. This is this part of here. Let's start with the main camera because at the moment we are shooting on an iPhone 13 plus, but my main camera, this is my Canon EOS R6 with a lens that's the 1535 2.5. Because of the wide angle, this is perfect for travel videos and vlogs. And as my main microphone, I use the Rode VideoMic Plus Pro. That's that one here. And I will now plug this and this on here. So you can also see the difference and hear the difference when we have this set up here. And now we are on the main camera. That's my Canon EOS R6. And you can already hear that the sound is so much more crisp on that one because now we have a shotgun microphone on top. What does it mean? Shotgun means that it, it picks up everything that I'm talking to straight in front of it. So if I, for example, go here and I keep talking, it's changing and now you can hear that. Okay, let's talk about my other microphones. This is not the only microphone I have. I have another microphone. This is the Joby Vavo. This even has noise cancelling in it. This is brand new. I haven't tested this one yet. There will be a video where I test the both because that's the flagship from Joby, but it's considered a shotgun microphone as well and it's so much lighter than my other one that I have. Then I have another Rode shotgun microphone and this Rode shotgun microphone doesn't need any battery. So you can use this straight into your camera. It's cheaper than the VideoMic Pro Plus and I started using that when I was upgrading my microphone equipment. If you are shooting outside and you have a lot of wind, those shotgun microphones, sometimes you see people with this dead cap or the red <laughs> on top of it. This is basically to protecting against wind. So I have the same one for that one and the same one for the Joby one. I have a kit lens that's just a 24 by 105. It's not a very good one, but it gets the job done. For example, if I want to have a very deep shallow field of depth, I can zoom more in and it's also good for making some photos and everything. And this is just complementary in my kit. If I would have more money right now, I would upgrade this to a 24 to 70 2.8. The next one is the 50 mm 1.8. This is very great for portrait, photography, or even for videos where you want to have the blurry background. So my next camera is the GoPro Hero 8. This is just versatile if you want to go scuba diving, if you want to like have different angles. It's just a very nice camera which has stabilization in it and I use this a lot for vlogging as well. When you shoot videos you need stabilization. So you can use a tripod and all kind of things to make your shots smooth. There's a couple of tricks that you can do with your body and everything, right? But let's talk about those. I have a very versatile roll line. This is basically a tripod that goes out like this. So I think if you are shooting on a big camera, this is a must have. So for example, our podcast or everything, stable shots, just use this one. I have a ball head on top. So for example, if I put the camera in here with the ball head, I can even do little movements and stuff, right? So this is just basic equipment, but you need it. If you don't want to carry something big like this, then we come back to Joby. Joby makes those kind of uh, tripods that you can basically bend and even put it on around the tree. They have it in different sizes. So I have the 5K version. That's the one that is capable of holding a lot of weight on top because my camera with the lens and the equipment on top, the microphone, it becomes very heavy. So if you just have a smaller one, like for example, we talk about this in a second, a smaller one, it will not hold this one, right? Another very good way to stabilize your shot, especially if you wanna walk and follow your subjects and just a great tool overall, is this baby here. This is the Ronin SC2 and this is considered a gimbal. So this is a very compact version because you can actually fold it like this and it becomes very small. I could just carry that under this one here. <laughs> but basically what it is, if you expand everything, I will not now build it, it takes some time to adjust and everything. You can put your main camera on it, this is for my big camera. Whatever movement I make, there's a motor in it and it will gimbalize, like it basically will stabilize all movements. And after that, you have very steady shots, especially when you follow people. This is just a great tool to have. But I'm honest, this is an amazing tool if you shoot professional. But the, the truth is, I'm not taking it out as much as I needed to or I could to because I'm lazy and it takes time to build it up. That's the reason why I'm not showing you now because I'm too lazy, I don't want. But for professional shoots, I use it. Client wants something like real estate or whatever, I use it or for weddings, you can use it. 
amazing. Then of course with all your equipment you have lots of cables and other stuff. I use this one here. This is actually from my headphones, my Sony headphones. And it's the perfect size for a case where I can store all my cables, additional hard drives, little things and plugs and blah blah blah. In the past I only traveled with a backpack because I was traveling around the world for seven years. But since last year upgrading my film equipment, I have now a dedicated case for all my film equipment. But it's not done yet. <laughs> one more thing because it's professional, right? I also have two professional lights. That one here, that's a newer LED panel that can change colors and also can turn into a softbox. The softbox is right here. It's that one here. If you put this on top, it becomes a softbox. So now this can become my key light where I can light myself, my skin and everything. And this light, I many times use it either as a rim light, lighting my back, or just in the background because I can change the colors. And those two, they go into this bag. Now let's talk about the second part, because I mean, if you have an iPad and DaVinci Resolve, you can edit on your iPad. And do you even need all of this equipment? No. And this is why we separate now the second part. Come here. We have an iPad, obviously, <laughs> with a magic keyboard and a cover that's still LumaFusion. I don't have a DaVinci Resolve one yet. And even for a main camera, you could just use your smartphone. You don't need a big camera like I do right now. You could use this. And what I also would pack is SSD drives. So you, you can use all the files and store it here. So that's a regular one. They are way cheaper, two terabytes. But if you want to edit on the go, I would recommend something like this. That's a SanDisk Extreme. That's a two terabyte SSD. Because let's be honest, if you upgrade your iPad to a higher storage, it's so much more expensive. It's actually cheaper to put all your files on here. Okay, let's talk about the mobile setup. I found something very cool from Joby. This is a tripod for your smartphone, but it also comes with an LED light and a microphone that you can plug into your smartphone. So now I can use my smartphone either in horizontal or vertical. So for example, for TikTok and Reels and YouTube Shorts, I also have an adapter so I can plug in one of those little shotgun microphones. And now basically I could start vlogging like this. Hey guys, this is a YouTube tutorial in Shorts. Blah, blah, blah. Because we are now talking about the nomad lifestyle and just traveling maybe with just a backpack, you don't need all of the equipment there. If you're a filmmaker, it's fun to have all of this. But I'm also honest, since last year, I missed the times where I was just traveling with one backpack. And it's cool to have it, but on traveling, it's also exhausting to travel with all of this. I would rather film all of my stuff here. And to be honest, the last couple of weeks, I was only using most of the time my iPhone and my iPad for shooting stuff. In this kit, you have this microphone here. It's amazing. But I would also say that you get another microphone like this one here. And that is called a mic laugh, a lavalier microphone. These microphones are the ones that you can put under your shirt and then plug it into your shirt. And you could then plug this into your iPhone and just record directly on your iPhone. Why is this amazing? Because it is not as expensive as a huge microphone or the big ones that you saw there, but it will improve your audio quality in most of the cases. Very good. Why? Because the audio is very near to the subject. Because in filmmaking, many times we have the problem. We don't want that a microphone is hanging into the screen like this, but as closer I am on my mouth, the better the audio will be. So this is one of the best alternatives because you can get those. I think this one here was 15 bucks in the music store, but you can also get them up to 50 euros. But if you think about it, 15 euros for very high quality audio, I would recommend that you have at least one of those if you want to do interviews, for example, just have two of those and you can already record two of the people. And DaVinci Resolve is capable of bringing in two audio tracks and just sync them at the same time. And you have good audio, even, for example, if you're outside when there's traffic and everything. So in this kit, we talked about this LED light. I have a second one just as a spare. You don't need it. But for me, it's it's nice because when this one is empty, I can charge it at the same time. I can still record with that one. But even if you don't use those ones, I have an LED light it's that one here and that's even a little bit is more expensive but that can even change the colors when you use it if you don't want to use a Joby or the expensive ones but I recommend using those because they are high quality you can also use a cheaper one that one for example I think was $20 uh, it's not as high quality but if you just need one you can start with something like this and your smartphone and you can put your smartphone in here 
and record videos. To be capable to read your SD cards, I would recommend that you get something like this. That is a USB-C hub. I have the one from Editor's Keys because that one, for example, even has a headphone jack, but there are also cheaper ones on Amazon and they are high quality as well. Like for example, that this dock deck here. And the funny thing is about those, they even have HDMI out if you want to use a separate monitor with your iPad. Those ones you can just plug into your iPad and it will recognize it. You can plug in external drives, your SD card. So this is a must if you want to be a video editor with your iPad. As my main laptop many years, this was the Dell XPS 15. It's a huge, nice monitor, but I'm honest with you. I had lots of problems with the 15 inch version. The 13 inch was amazing. Well, it wasn't that powerful, but that one has such so many problems because it's overheating all of the time. And now since I start editing on my iPad, it's so much easier and nicer because it doesn't overheat. And as my main mouse for editing, I'm using the MX Master S2. And the cool part is I have different settings. So I can go to my Dell XPS, start using it, change the setting here to two, and I can use it immediately on my iPad. Oh yeah, I totally forgot, optional. We use also for the podcasting, this podcast microphone from Joby. This is not a must have. I think it depends of if you wanna do podcasting or not. You can start using podcasting even with this microphone or that one that I showed you. But later, if you wanna just upgrade and you have a desk, it's just handy. But for traveling, I'm honest, this is very heavy. We are doing podcasting a lot, that's why we have it. I hope this video was inspirational and you liked this video. If, if yes, hit like, subscribe, ding and ding on the bang bang gong. And I'm Daniel and we'll see us in the next video. Bye.